Hi to folks, it's Zach, and welcome back to my Star Wars channel for Star Wars The Old Republic. And today, I had a viewer you know, leave a comment on one of my videos asking, Hey Zach, what do you feel about the, the new announcement that came out from Star Wars on their Twitter and on their forum post? So, today is uh, February the 28th, and these announcements came out respectively on February the 26th and February the 27th. And it was a great question. And so, guys, if you caught my last show of Real Talk with Real Gamers, I invited you guys to start pitching in your best questions, and we will design content and shows around those questions. And this is an excellent one. This is definitely one of the first ones we want to tackle. So here's the Twitter feed from Star Wars The Old Republic and the one that was specifically being mentioned. And you can see it up here on the screen. Take your rule of the galaxy to new heights this spring. 100 new galactic command levels and exciting new gear rewards on the way! Exclamation point. And I'll go ahead and click on the picture here so you can see the... Uh, the different types of gear, which the gear models basically we've seen before. It's kind of repackaged, recolored. The point is there's another new tiered set of gear coming out on the way. Now, obviously, this is a pretty short tweet. It says a lot and can emotionally charge people very quickly. So I can imagine that most of the feedback was pretty negative. I'm not going to scroll down here on the Twitter feed, but believe me, some of it is less than kind. And uh, instead, I'm just going to go straight over to the forum post, which is the response from the dev team, which he knew had to come, where he, uh, where Eric Musco specifically elaborates just a little bit <coughs> on what this uh, tweet was about. I'm going to summarize. I'm going to leave this up here for a while so you guys can have a chance to read through the whole screen, so don't worry about that. But uh, the, the summary is that Tier 4... He mentions that you'll consistently be able to get set bonus gear in that tier, okay? And that's kind of important. With, you know, Tier 4 will be treated differently than Tiers 1 through 3. Tiers 1 through 3, they're trying to make it an easier gearing experience. They don't really elaborate too much on either one. Now, guys, um, right off the bat, let's just talk about the elephant in the room. CXP as a system is one that almost universally players don't like and it become it, because of one aspect of it the random number generator aspect of it this is just a given all right guys this is this is well documented i have a whole episode of real talk with real gamers dedicated specifically to cxp and uh, and what we myself penny and xenoff what we all saw were the problems with in cxp based on our own experiences and with the feedback of other players okay and i am proud to say that solutions that we came up with in that show got implemented into the next patch. Things like vendors on the fleet, currency in each one of the CXP packs, bosses now dropping more consistent pieces of, you know, tokens that you could then trade in for loot. All those things got put in. Not everything that we talked about got put in, but those things did. However, it is still a grind to get through CXP. So this announcement, if you got pissed and I'm, I'm giving you guys, you know, the, the free pass here. If you got pissed from reading this post, I do not blame you. Not in the slightest. That reaction, wholeheartedly, I agree. That is okay. I give you guys, if you needed permission, you have my permission. If you felt upset, that's okay. The, but on my channel, I pride myself on being tough but fair. Those were actually Eric Musco's words to me when he invited me into the Influence for program. He said that on my channel, I'm tough but fair, and he appreciated that. And I'm going to be tough but fair on this particular issue as well. So here's here's kind of where I'm at with uh, with this announcement. First off, you know, I I personally have a lot of mercy for the guys on the dev team because I've worked in the corporate environment before. And unfortunately, a lot of the worst things that happen in corporations do not happen on the development level. They happen at the top. The people at the top, they only see two colors, black and red. They care if their company is being profitable or if it is not being profitable. And that's it. And a lot of times, if other business models seem to have a, a you know a working methodology they will try to borrow it and they will try to ask you know how come we're not doing that you know if that's making them x millions of dollars over there why aren't we doing that make it happen and they don't necessarily care about the players i personally from my personal experience with the dev team thus far eric musco matt etc i know that they do okay i know it doesn't always feel like it because of the things that come our way 
but I know from personal experience that they actually do care. However, they're in the very unenviable position of being between a rock and a hard place. They want to please gamers, they want to keep their jobs, and they're getting pressure from both sides on what they need to get done. Plus, they are limited by time and resources. So here's where this puts us. CXP is not going away. CXP is based off of the gambling model that is becoming more and more used in mobile games, in, you know, it's it's been used forever in casinos, you know, and now uh, even things like DLC packs, you know, or multiplayer packs, uh, more specifically, even you know, Cartel Market, the idea of gambling, pe you know, getting people to gamble is something that continuously pushes people forward. If you are looking forward to getting a reward, but you are not getting it, the amount of time that you've invested into it, you feel is now even more important because you feel like you have lost that time until you get that reward. You know, and so a great example uh, is somebody at a slot machine at a casino. You put quarters in, looking for it to pay out. It does pay out a little bit, but you feel like, man, I'm still not up yet. I'm still not ahead yet and you feel inclined to keep trying to play until you've made back what you've lost or you try to you know get a little bit ahead and uh, and that's that's how casinos take all your money okay with CXP this is part of it's not so much taking your money as it's taking your time and it's a lengthening process on the gearing process which traditionally I'm just gonna be frank Star Wars players you're pretty good at what you guys do you know new content comes out and you guys pretty much crush it you know that's really tough for for any design team to make something that can actually keep players busy and the CXP system kind of balances two things it gets casual players a chance to get really good gear um, you know through that random number generator it's like you could just play anything and you might get some good pieces of gear and it lengthens the overall process it takes to get gear uh, hopefully slowing down things like progression and end game progression if your team isn't as powerfully built you know with all the best gear right out of the gate you know you might not be able to crush that boss or make those dps checks or healing checks like you'd hope you could and that that lengthens the time of progression now that's that's kind of you know CXP in kind of a nutshell. So this is it's not a great system. Uh, I, I personally prefer methods like Final Fantasy XIV, uh, which by the way this isn't the method they've always had. It's just it's the one they have now. But if I take my character into you know any type of dungeon, I come out with a certain amount of currency and I can spend that currency on the gear that I want. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. I can bank on it, I know exactly how much I'm earning, and I can have a few gear sets in advance for when I'm ready to try a different class. That's the way I like it. You know, that's that's my preferred method. And so a lot of the recommendations that I give when I send things over to Bioware are to lean towards that model. And instead of just saying, hey, I'm really angry at this, I try to say, hey, look, you know, I like playing this game, here are the things I enjoy, here are the things I don't, and here's what would keep me playing and be you know, maybe we can find some middle ground here. Uh, so when it comes to this particular issue, guys, we're not going to really be able to make a definitive statement one way or the other until we know what the specific changes are to Tier 4 and Tiers 1 through 3. And it could be something really good. One of the things I love about my co-host Penny and uh, my co-host Zenoff is that they are they're in it in the thick of it every single day and they come up with some great ideas and one of the ideas I can't remember which one it was that have it I think it was Penny uh, said hey wouldn't it be awesome or at least better if CXP you know every five levels or so you got a piece of tiered gear and I like that idea uh, when I was playing Guild Wars 2 in fact there's sometimes you'd hit certain benchmarks and they would let you choose a piece of gear out of a list of different gear you could have uh, so it would be like, okay, so if the, here's your, you know, you hit level, say, rank 5 of CXP, a window pops up, there's your entire set of armor uh, with set bonuses on it, and you choose the piece that you want first. And then you hit rank 10, same thing happens, and now you pick your second piece out of that set, and so on and so forth. By the time you hit rank 35, you'd have at least your seven tiered pieces if you didn't have it already. And I like that. That, like, that would help. It doesn't make it perfect, but it does help. Uh, so things like that would be things I'd recommend in these particular cases. If, if they throw in something like that as, hey, we're trying to make these gear drops a little bit more regular for you know the good pieces, because this is the only place they're really coming from, 
I think something like that it leans a little bit more towards that middle ground. It's not scrapping the CXPA system in totally, which kind of makes the you know the guys up above in the corporate structure happy, but it does help the players and kind of keep us motivated because now you, at least you can start banking on when you are getting your upgrades. Now the second thing about the command experience that I don't like and I would love to see change um, is, and so I'm kind of keeping my eyes open and hoping for this, is that right now the, the structure for CXP is an upside down pyramid. The, the bottom of that where you start working your way up through that chain, it's the lowest amount of experience on your first level and each level you move up it takes more and more experience to, to hit that level mark. Which means if you stack on another hundred levels on the top of it, that's making an even bigger upside down triangle with even more massive amounts of experience to grind through and that is not a fun idea i mean that's the picture we all pretty much have in our brain whether we know it or not we know that in our guts that that is the situation that you get when you add on to this particular type of model that means you know if you're looking to get the latest tier of gear you are grinding 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 points okay not fun one of the you know, smaller solutions I could see that would help if they announced it is something that they used to use in Guild Wars 2. Once you hit level cap, all of a sudden your your experience bar stayed static at a particular amount, and when you filled that up, you got basically a tome, and you could use that tome as a you know a token to level up another character up one level. It was great, love that. I only ever leveled up two characters in Guild Wars 2. The other four that I have over there. I literally got from you know level one all the way up to level cap using tomes. It was awesome. And so, but the the point was the experience bar was like one set amount. So I'm just going to throw out a number here. I'm going to say fifty thousand. If CXP was fifty thousand experience per level, that every time you hit fifty thousand experience, you gained a level, and that level didn't that amount didn't change. All of a sudden, that that upside down triangle changes into just a column, and you know it's like okay, yeah, you're still grinding for points, but you're not having to earn more points than you did last time to get your next reward. It is a flat rate every time that you earned up fifty thousand experience, you get your crate. That lets you build up a particular run, if you will. Um, one of the videos I have is for farming you know, several hundred thousand credits in about 13 minutes on Republic Tunes. It's a very easy run, and it's a very bankable amount. You know exactly how much you're going to make when you're farming those particular missions. Same idea here. All of a sudden now, if there's a set amount per experience bar that isn't increasing every single time, then you can kind of bank on that and say, okay, here's how much experience I earned by doing this operation or this operation, and this is how much I always need, so great. Man, let's just start turning it out. It's not perfect, not by any means, because it doesn't solve the RNG issue, but it's an alternative solution that helps mitigate the damage of a further grind. Where if it's the same amount no matter what, even if you've already done you know one or two tiers of CXP, if the experience that you need to level up each time doesn't really change, and it's something that's not completely unbearable, then you know you're able to kind of work through it, and 100 extra levels really doesn't make too bad of an impact. Um, but again, nobody really likes a gear grind like that. Nobody likes to grind, 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 and then get nothing. So that's pretty much where I stand on this, guys. Uh, this announcement. I understand, you know, from a logistics standpoint, that as they're introducing a new boss and a new raid, they're going to want to make that guy tougher than what we currently have in the game. And that means adding in another, you know, rank of gear. And the way that, you know, GXP is currently designed, every rank of gear that you have has 100 levels of command ranks wrapped around it. So that means new rank of gear, new 100 levels of experience, uh, command ranks. Not... Not great, but I understand why that design element's in there. Uh, now, how to make it better? I just went over two ways: you know, gear every five ranks, uh, or mitigate the, you know, or nominalize, excuse me, the amount of experience you get per rank. Or, you know, if enough feedback comes in, maybe they take it out entirely. Who knows? Uh, CXP looks like it's here to stay, though, so I'm going to try to play within the lines as much as possible. So my advice to you guys: if you are feeling angry or upset or salty about any of these particular issues. Don't just sit on it, okay? Take a deep breath, acknowledge that it's okay to feel that way, 
but then turn that feeling into action and let's make it a positive action go to the forums and you know go to the twitter feed and you know have more of the forums than the twitter feed there's more space to write on the forums but uh but offer other products and solutions don't don't you can it's okay to say hey i really don't enjoy this um but offer more than just that offer you know uh, another solution and if you don't have one of your of your own you know don't worry about remaking the wheel find somebody else's solution that you really like and just throw in some weight and uh, you can even quote him if you see somebody there who said hey Zach Gamer X said that adding in uh, a piece of gear a piece of tiered gear every five levels uh, would make him kind of happy or at least feel better I liked that idea just quote him just do that just say hey I love what Zach Gamer X said that that's actually something I really agree with done you know that takes all of what you know uh, three minutes on the forum to to you know to do that and what that does is that gives the devs ammunition to go back to their bosses with and say hey look our players have spoken the people who pay for this game have spoken and what they said is that they don't like this thing that we implemented uh, but we have some ideas and they shared some great ideas on things that we think could work that means we stay in the black you know if we do these things everybody wins that's called a compromise and so guys i i advocate you guys go out there and do it you know don't be afraid of it the devs you know think of them less as against you and think of them more as your advocates to the people who control bioware and ea you know most of like i would say the problematic things that come into a game that that players feel like rips them off usually come from people at the top of the food chain not in the middle all right and when it comes to devs i am like i said 99.9% .9 sure none of this is stuff that they get excited about but they have to sound excited about it it's their job to sound excited about it it's kind of like when your boss tells you hey i need you to go to this meeting and represent our interests there and you hate it you know uh, if you have any lawyers in your family i mean that's just not fun you know and sometimes you got to do it and and sound like yes that because that's being a professional um but the best thing we can do is to come back and say hey look uh, I'm not going to treat you like my opponent. I'm going to treat you like a collaborator. So let's collaborate. Here are the issues that I see. Uh, you know, it's my money going into this game. So think of me as an investor. And if we, you know, I was upset by these things. If you make these kinds of changes, though, I would be happy to continue investing. Um, or you could do what I did. Well, I, I don't really, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, the uh, galact the cartel market. I don't really believe in that form of RNG. So I just don't buy those crates anymore and I do recommend to other players like hey if uh, if that's something you don't uh, you know like too you don't like the randomness of it of I'm putting all this money and I might get what's in that crate maybe you know that's that's just not rewarding for me especially not for real life money or cartel coins and so I advocate to other people like if that's if something you don't like then don't pay for it don't buy into that system don't do it uh, vote with your wallet okay so guys, I hope this helps. Uh, again, we'll talk a little bit about this again on my next episode of Real Talk with Real Gamers. If you have questions, comments, and thoughts below, send them in, man. You know, go ahead and write them down. I'd love to tackle those questions. Love to uh, you know generate more episodes like that. And uh, that's my way of also saying I appreciate your guys' feedback. If you do like my feedback, please like and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.